Puerto Rico was one of the countries suffering from what they're calling a blood crisis, meaning the blood banks don't have enough supply for the hospitals. And this is why they need your help. Alanis Quinones brings us more. Hospitals are calling out to citizens because they're in an urgent need for blood donors. For example, right now we're in a center in Guaynabo that usually have a, a two-week inventory in case any emergency happens. But right now they have an inventory for barely two days. See, right now we're in a situation that is very serious. We don't have enough uh, blood out for, uh, to supply all the hospitals. We are supplying about less than 40% of what the hospital needs right now in the island. The most common blood type is O positive, since it can also be used for other blood groups. Now, there's been some doubts regarding if getting the COVID vaccine affects the donor's eligibility. If you receive the vaccine for COVID-19, you can donate blood anytime, as long as you don't have any symptoms. If you have any symptoms, then we ask them to, when they feel better, then they can come back and donate. But if the person don't have any symptoms after the vaccine, they can donate blood anytime. So a test prior to the donation is not necessary? No. Uh, COVID-19 is not uh, transmitted to blood transfusion, so we don't do any tests for COVID-19. This is also happening to the states, so that means that Puerto Rico can't rely on getting help from the U.S. It's important to create a conscience that we need this. Uh, there's no blood substitutes, so we need the blood from volunteer donors. So the call is to everybody that can donate blood to go to the blood banks and, and give blood and give life. Uh, right now, there is a need uh, because all the patients that we're seeing in the hospitals are more uh, critical than they used to be before because they stop their uh, treatments, they delay going to hospitals and to the physicians because of the pandemic. So uh, now we're seeing most serious cases and the use of blood is higher than it used to be before. If you want to give life by donating, here's the eligibility factors you need to know. Anybody that is 19 years old or older can donate blood if they have in good health. 16-year-olds uh, and 17-year-olds can donate blood if they have the consent from their parent or uh, legal tutor. Uh, so basically 65% of the population here in Puerto Rico are eligible to donate blood. And if they do it if maybe two or three times a year, that will be enough to cover all the hospitals in the island. If you want to become a blood donor, you can go to this website to get your information for eligibility or to get an appointment. Reporting from Puerto Rico, Alanis Quiñones.